but it's a little dated. Uh, and you suggested, I think you suggested uh, her other band, uh, Stellar, which I actually liked. But this is B's, not S's. Okay, uh, Scott, hey Scott, San Fran. Um, yeah, I took Band of Horses. And uh, Brian Jones, Sound Massacre, my old band actually opened for these guys. Um, and then recently when I was at a Primal Scream show, I went to see them, but I missed them. Um, I like the song you sent in. You know, I've never been a huge Brian Johntown fan. Um, anyway, uh, I can live without it. I'll definitely check them out, though, at a show. Um, and then you said... Uh, what did you say here? Oh! This is crazy. You suggested Benny Benassi. Um, this is an Italian DJ, and I liked it. I, I did. Uh, it's a electro house stuff, but it was um, it was pretty good. It was really good uh, for what it was. I don't know if I have this in my iTunes, but I but I like listening to it. And then Blind Faith. Um, I really don't like m much that really anything that Eric Clapton is involved in. But this song is pretty classic. Um, can't find my way home. Um, let's do... Uh, let's see here. Okay, Michael Lee. Michael Lee from Seattle. Hey, man. Um, another great post. All these posts are awesome. Uh, why you like these bands. And I think other people now, because I know other people are, are reading these and and uh, and checking these bands out. So, um, what did you say? Uh, oh, Breeders. Breeders, yeah, of course. I didn't like this song, though. Um, but I like the Breeders. And I don't have any, but I'll listen to Cannonball forever. Uh, who else? Uh, What is this one? Oh, you said Bat for Lashes again. So that's a couple for Bat for Lashes. Again, you suggested this song. I still like her first record better, but good call on that. And then Rick T. Rick, you came in with Bick, Bo's sister. She's really the superstar of the girls. Um, again, I like her better than her sister, uh, but still a little... Um, it's still a little dated for me. I don't know why. Um, it's more of the ad adult contemporary sort of stuff. So, um, but you did zip it and send it to me. And for that, I will be forever grateful. And you suggested her sister as well. Um, okay, then you, I've got some stragglers here that came in at the last minute. Sue... Sue Lot, hi Sue. It's been a long time. Sue Lot gave me my first bass lesson. She suggested Big Chief, and of course, Big Chief, if you're not familiar, a band from Michigan, guy from uh, Necros was in that, Barry Hensler. Um, you should just know this band. And uh, I don't have any. I should probably get some. Matt O'Brien was a great bass player in that band. Um, Lara, uh, you suggested... See, this, these came in like just today, so I really haven't had a time to even listen to these, so I'm just going to read them off. Um, oh, Lara, do you, you suggested um, Beirut, right? Yeah, Beirut. I can't believe no one mentioned Beirut. Beirut's a great band. Um, and I need... I definitely need some Beirut. I don't have any, but I really like them. So that's a band I suggest checking out. Uh, it's also someone should just send me their music. Derek in Portland. Um, you said you, you, he made a point of going to um, going mainstream with Beck, um, saying that uh, he thought that uh, the reason why was that he's changed over time, and I agree, and that's what makes a good artist. Although. 
I've never really liked Beck. And I'm sure I'll get crucified for this one too. Just never really have. I mean, I like some of his stuff, but just one of those people that just doesn't like Beck. Um, maybe because it seemed like everyone I knew loved Beck. And I was like in a van on tour and everyone was playing Beck. Or they were playing fucking Radiohead. Um, Abby, Abby, after 30 comments, you were the first comment and then you actually posted the Bibio song link. <laughs> That's just awesome. I ended up finding it on my own, but you should have done that the first one. That's great. Thanks for better late than never. And then, uh, Rick T, you came back um, with a little comment about Blonde Redhead. And I'm listening to Blonde Redhead right now while we do this. And, uh, and then you also said Band of Horses sounds like it could very well have been a song from West Indian Girl. That's great. Um, anyway, that's that for bees. Thanks. My eyes are red because I'm tired. It's not because I'm stoned. Although I was stoned when I listened to some of this music. And uh, it made a big difference. In a good way. Um, C's. I'm going to post C's. In a couple minutes probably along with this. And a couple things. Two songs max. Alright. There's a lot of work. It's enjoyable work. But it's a lot of work to go through these. Because I want to give it my you know, a solid listen. And I've spent like a half hour on some of these bands just giving them the benefit of the doubt. But there are a lot of good suggestions. Uh, Bonobo, Big Pink come to mind, uh, Beta Band, that was awesome. Um, so limit it to two bands. I think the detail on these posts are great because everyone can just learn something from this. So I, I'm really happy with how things are progressing and uh, you, you know what? Suggest one band and ask me a question. Okay? It'll make my life easier. Maybe it'll make this a little more entertaining. Okay? Goodbye. <laughs>